Dikosh reached out through a, a mutual friend and he was saying that uh, D watches the show and would like to come here and um, talk. La. How are you still saying that you didn't know their age? Did, yeah. did the thought of like ending your life cross your mind? I was never as afraid of anything else before. One day I'll write a tell all. <laughs> okay, okay, but for now, I need to go jail first. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, Denise here, Singapore's most annoying person here with my most annoying eyebrows and fake accent. This is your daily catch-up. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that. And he's back. Very that. So how are you? I lost weight. Yeah, you're like a skinny legend. Yeah, right? you are. Not, no, I'm not skinny. I'm not skinny. <laughs> but just compared to then, we're going to show like- Compared to me as well. Before, right? So how are you since? I'm um, great. Better, I would think. Mm. I would like to think. I'm happier, relieved, and out of jail. Are you happier than pre-allegation? Wow, that's an interesting question. Of course not, no. But happier than 2020, yeah, that's yeah, for sure. sure, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, and that's a lot. That's enough. So, <laughs> speaking of 2020, let me just do a brief recap of it. Oh, you got to recap some more. Okay. A bit, a bit, a bit. Uh, I will say very fast. Okay. okay, 15 August 2020, 17-year-old boy A shares screenshots on Instagram, mm -hmm. which is the first allegations of sexual harassment. You deny senses and disease, and then multiple other individuals started coming up with allegations as well. After a year of mostly radio silence in August 2021, the cause was charged in court. Was it? Wow, it was a year, huh? Mm. And the case was adjourned to March 2022 and you pleaded guilty on 30th May 2022. 5th August 2022 convicted and sentenced to 32 weeks in jail. And you were released this year in March 2023. I will not celebrate just to keep myself neutral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I was actually released in December. Oh. Yeah. That makes yeah, Wikipedia. Is that earlier or later? <laughs> it's earlier. Right. So what Was that a surprise to you? Uh, not really. So w w when you're a first timer, right, they separate your sentence into three thirds. Is it like oh, so? Oh, so divide into three. Divide okay, okay. into three. Yeah, yeah, divide yeah. into three. <laughs> three thirds <laughs> is one. <laughs> <laughs> they divide into three, and so your you have to see your first third. Your second third. Sometimes they have like this tagging program for you, and then the third third is if you have good behavior, they let you out. Right. Yeah. Which you got. Okay, yeah, model, <laughs> model prisoner. prisoner. <laughs> yeah, good I'm behavior. So <laughs> and then, and then, yeah. So they let you out, but then I decided like I'm not gonna come out and be like, oh my god, I'm out. You know, I was gonna stay low key, spend yeah. time family, get used to how to live outside a bit more. I, like respect the punishment and respect the sentencing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I just stayed quiet for until the eight months was, but the, the full sentence was done, which is in March. So then I was like, okay, oh. hello. Yeah. I see, that explains it. Because mm. there were people that tell me that, oh, they saw you on the street. And I'm like, oh. eh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Good response to them. <laughs> really? <man? laughs> we were supposed to release a video with you, right? That's correct. Before, before, um, before you mm -hmm. went. La. So the instruction was mm -hmm. that the moment you start serving, we yeah. will release the video. Yes. So then after that, the day before, a text mm. was sent by a conduit that we will not name, right? D asked me um, to tell you mm -hmm. he hopes that you can don't post the video. Right. And then he will do a tell-all when he's out. What happened? What happened was I released my video first. Then when that video came out, apparently I got scolded from the lawyers because I was <laughs> not supposed to talk about my case. Right. Self-sabotage. Mm, no, it's literally, it's called subjudice. Which in layman terms means... <laughs> it means like you're trying to like interfere with the courts. I see, oh, I see, I see. Okay. By like trying to sway the public's opinion or whatnot. La. Maybe I wouldn't get the good my last third or maybe I'll get a new judge. Right. Oh. You know, maybe, you know, I'm inside happy, happy. Then the lawyer comes like, hey, we have a new charge for you. And then I extend another. Two I, see, I see, I see. So yeah. in the previous video, right, we did ask because at one point, quite early on, you mm. were actually dropped by your first lawyer. Mm. And at that point, you could not tell us why. Mm. Are you able to say it now? I still can't. I checked. <laughs> yeah, I Damn still it. can't. But I mean, I guess you could say when I hired or when I engaged that first lawyer, they were under the notion that it was all fake news. Right. They were like, oh, it's all fake news. And then when all the real news started coming out, they were like, oh, wait, 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 wait. maybe it's not fake news. Right. Oh shit, we are representing the wrong person. Drop. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So I mean, one of the big parts of your denial of the allegations is that you did not know their ages. And the moment mm. you knew, you stopped. Mm. But then there are people also saying that in certain screenshots, you are like wishing these people happy birthday or like even after you find out their age, you still continue talking to them. Once I found out their age, I didn't go on with the proposition for some. 
Okay, there was one. I know there's one that I went all the way out to $2,000. It is what it is. Like, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I didn't know it was a crime at the time. Because I thought course, 17 16, was... Right? Yeah, you know, I thought 17 was legal. I was mm. wrong. I fucked up. You know, like, there's no running around, going around the bush anymore. Lah. Like, I think there was no there was no case where there was like a few days of like, hey, why don't you take my money? Or then the next week, hey, my money is still here. There was never like grooming in a sense or harassment. Lah. Right. right. Mm. One of the accusations was that like, there was rape, right? Yeah. And then you, I think you mentioned in your video that it was because of the video recording. I think, I think. Because it didn't end up being rape. What happens to the person? Nothing. I don't know. And I will never know. Because you can just randomly accuse somebody of rape and then I they don't fight know. their best to get out of it. I mean, if they never, lah, right? Mm. And then if it like turns their life upside down or whatever, right? Because like you mentioned also that having to fight something like this, is, it costs so it's much insane. money, right? Mm. Yeah. Then then they just get yeah. away with it. I don't know. Right. How much do you think you spend the entire legal process? No. 15? 16? Oh, I didn't fight the case. Eh. A lot. Oh, yeah, okay, I didn't okay, fight okay. the case. Eh. Or if you were to, then... If right, I were right, to right. fight the case, it would be much, much more. Like, like what kind every, of... Every... I would think like... 30, 40, right, 50, right, right, around right. there. Then. Mm. Yeah, but I didn't take it to trial. Like, I, I plead, plead guilty. I was like, nah, I know where I fucked up. I'm just going to plead guilty. I would like to make clear though that this group of guys were almost like an... Uh, what's the word? Anomaly. Mm. Like, you know, if all my other people that I slept with came out, then it would be very clear that, oh, okay, he does not have a type. Very. It's not young. You know, it's upwards. Then. I mean, there were two main difficulties for you when the first uh, allegations started coming out. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, on one hand, clearly it's the allegations and mm -hmm. the backlash from that. But second was because you were actually not out to your family. Yeah. And so having them find out via the media and mm -hmm. in such a bad way was a very difficult time for you. Yeah. Are you able to share a bit more about that? Police! Stop right there! I'm gonna <laughs> arrest you if you don't like, share, and subscribe. Okay, back to the episode. Oh. Um, Sorry, it's because we already, you know, you also did your own tell-all already. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. This is more of a follow-up. You can questions. check out his video on Rumble uh, or Spotify. Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> because he has I, been terminated from YouTube, guys. That's correct. That's correct. Huh? Yeah, dude, I didn't yeah. know. Leh. He lost all yeah. his videos and also because the police take his CPU, right? So he lost all the raw files also. He's saying that if YouTube deletes your account or mm -hmm. terminates your account, you cannot open another account. Yeah. yeah it's different from a right. suspension. Yeah, it's not a suspension. It's not even a deletion. Like, it's a termination. Right. Like, they basically saying like you cannot have a YouTube channel full stop did you not for example just create another YouTube channel see yeah. what happened I, I didn't lah I, honestly I'm so tired of fighting <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, just gonna make one to get beaten down again so no thanks lah but you can technically have another person create a YouTube channel and then you just like this lah yeah yeah, like, yeah. then we get deleted like, out no you won't lah <laughs> then maybe we are pulling an Andrew Tate right now guys <laughs> <laughs> I love that comparison no I don't my family at first it was very tough you know, like like there was sort of like three folds to it, right? The first fold is, oh, haha, guess what? I'm not straight. The second fold was, oh, uh, they're saying that I'm a pedophile. And then the third fold is, oh, they're saying that I paid for it. Mm. So there's like three separate things to deal with. Um, Do you think you could share a bit about the part where when it first happened, then the first thing you did was you moved yeah. out and then oh, you had right, a phone right, call right. with your mom. Yeah, yeah. so um, the first thing I did was I moved out of the house. I didn't move out or run away. Uh. Like, it wasn't yeah. even like a move out. It was, like it was a, the middle of the night thing. In the middle of the night. Because <laughs> right. this all happened in the middle of the night. And you were not sure if they knew about it yet. I would know. Like, I was like, the next, when they wake up, they see the news call. Right, right. Boom, they will know. Okay. You know? And so I, mo I went to a hotel uh, and then I just... <laughs> Just that night, I went home, took my things, went to hotel, and booked the week. Um, but then on the second day, they called and they were like, uh, you know, I had at that part of time in my hotel, I remember I had like lawyers and friends and PR people just like, oh, what, what should we yeah. do next? What's the statement? Blah, blah, blah. And I was very numb. Like it felt very numb at that point of time. And then uh, I remember my dad was the one who called. Um, I called them, sorry, to explain the whole situation. And then they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. We hear your explanation, but. Um, what you really need now is your family. I didn't think I was going to make it go away because it was obviously not going away. Right. Right. But I thought that I could have sort of explained myself at least. Right. To, you know, to say that why these things happen and who are these people and what are the things that are true and what are the things that are not. La. Right. But I didn't get to do that because number one, it was so hard to explain 
the whole roja salad of everything that was going on. Yeah. And at the same time, I couldn't talk about it after because of the investigations. Right. So it's like, uh, cannot. Right. Which I guess one of the one of the key motivations for you wanting to perhaps clean this up mm-hmm. was the fact that you haven't came out of the closet to your family. And in that call with your dad the first time, did you say like, but don't worry, I'm not gay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> did you try and no, carry that no, for no, 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 a few no, no, no. more? At that point, how to, you know, me I mean, like know. at that point. No, you, at that point is also the day where you put a statement to say that these are not true, right? No. Which you have addressed, right? I didn't say everything wasn't true. Yeah. You know, but I think at that point, right, you must remember that I wasn't even lying to my family. I was lying to my family. I was lying to my friends. Yeah. And I was lying to my- Your friends the, knew though. My friends didn't know. Oh. Okay lah. I mean, no. They, it, yeah. Like they never heard it from the- the Yeah, the, yeah. The okay. They, they was not confirmed. They you know assumed. What I mean? yeah. yeah. They assumed, they thought, they gossiped, but they, like, they never heard it from me. Okay. And even if they knew, they didn't know I was paying for it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's so not something it's, you would discuss. Like. Yeah, and it's so it's this new information that everyone just had, had to download at one time. Uh, and then plus, I had to explain it to the public. That's a shit part, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it was a lot. It was a lot. But I think, um, like I said in my video, right, that like, I'm very proud to have my family. Like they stood with me all the way. Like even, mm. I mean, through the cancellation, through the sentencing, to the prison term. Was this something you expected? As Honestly, in- no. Because they are very conservative. They're a very conservative family. And um, I just expected them to kick me out of the house. Huh? So the last time you were on the show, <laughs> yeah. um, you did go into a little bit more detail mm. of how how that, that whole conversation with your parents transpired when you, mm. once once you got the call from your dad and you went mm. home, right? Yeah, can you run through that again? Oh, wow. Um, so I had that call and then I went home. What did he say? When you answer that time, right? What, what he said? He, Where are you? <laughs> yeah, no, no. No, honestly, because it's I that called them, right? I texted them and I said, look, I need to talk to y'all about this. Like, let me explain these things. Um, so uh, when I answered the phone, or when he answered the phone, they answered the phone, I started crying and I started just apologizing. Like just apologizing with a lot of phlegm. Um, okay. <laughs> You know what I mean, right? Like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then uh, apologizing, apologizing. And then he, he, they just, my, my dad was the one who was holding the phone and he just heard me out. After that, he just said, come home. Like, you know, you, wow. you, you have your friends around you now, you have your lawyers, I understand, but you need your family, come home. And then after that, there was another family com- conversation um, where I went more into the details of who these people were, mm. um, you know, was there the sex? Was there the molestation? Was there grooming? There was none of that. You know, the, the the really specific details of each of these cases. And then I also gave them the lowdown on like what might happen next, you know? And and so they were like, okay. At that point, I think they also sat in the roller coaster and strapped in. Lah. They were mm. like, okay, this is going to be for the long haul. Yeah, so that's basically it. And you all never had a conversation. Like, would you, would you expecting your very conservative parents to be like, no. So cool. So you gay, you know? No. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, they didn't come to me and ask. Right. They asked my gay friends. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because my friends were really like, the, the sweetest thing is my friends were even there for them when I was inside. Right. You Aww. know? Yeah. So um, my friends, some of them are very out, Yeah. you know? And they brought my parents out for wow. dinners and stuff. So it was very nice. It was very nice. And um, I couldn't be any more grateful. Um, and then there was one of them that my mom asked, like, so is my son like you? Yeah. You know, and then- No, wait, this was when you were in prison. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Usually yeah. conservative parents go behind the back one. Oh, wow. No, but <laughs> I mean, it was a while. Uh, it in, was quite they a had while. You for- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, then my, my friend was like, girl. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you know, like, you know, he goes both ways. There's still a possibility yeah. that he'll reproduce for you, you yeah, know, yeah. but <laughs> that's up to him to tell you. And he, should, and, and he encouraged my mom to have that conversation with me. Right. Which in the end, when I came out and in those few months that I was outside, we did have that conversation. What, oh. what a yeah. pun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Came, came out of prison and yeah. yeah. So you think now if you bring a man home, right, they okay? No, girl, girl. Nah. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't, we don't so play the with the fire. Like like that. That. <laughs> we don't play with fire. Don't play with fire. Okay. No, 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 We're no, trying no, to no, find no, the no. climax moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling for no, it. No, no, no. We don't play with fire. But 
I mean, out of respect for them, lah. Like the same, like the same reason why a lot of smokers don't smoke in front of their parents. Right. Yeah. You know, and you know they're not okay with it. Just don't know. Yeah. So speaking of friends, mm. there is a day when the allegations come out that you yourself dubbed Statement Day. Yeah. Which was when a lot of your influencer friends made statements. Made statements with or without approaching you first and trying to clarify things yeah. with you. And you did mention that that kind of hurt your feelings a bit. Yeah. How's your relationship with those people now? Gone. Oh. Like, no, I don't talk to Benjamin King, Narelle King, none of them. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, I don't hate them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, because these are the ones who made a statement, what? Yeah. You know, and. Have they tried to reach out to you? No. It's just, I guess, a thing of the past, law. We yeah. just moved on. They're different people. I'm, dif- I'm a different a season place. in life. Yeah, and it's okay, I guess. I might still hurt from what they did, I don't think so. I'm not bitter about it. But at that point of time, I was like, I was like, wow, well, you don't okay. call me first, man. You don't tell- ask me first, man. The, uh, they probably had to do what they had to do for their own careers also lah. You do you boo. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, no, we don't we don't talk anymore. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then after that, you mentioned that the police also actually came to your house to mm. arrest you. And as part of the investigation, right, they actually did this pedophile test. Yeah. Can you share a bit about that? <laughs> the pedo test. Everyone's so interested about the pedo test. I am interested in the yeah. pedo test. Uh, what? So, <laughs> not like what? You put don't a take it, uh. Like the kid just walked in, just <laughs> they hang a bell, your dick, and see what happens or what. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure that's how it happened before, <laughs> yeah. right? It's this like three, four to, I can't remember how many weeks it was. It's a few weeks. Um, and you go once um, a, year, a week. I went once a week and it's like a one, one hour sessions where they just ask you these really detailed questions about your sex life. And for example, yeah, give us some questions. Okay, to so answer. for example, no, but it's not it's not the questions that they ask; it's how they ask. Okay, okay, come. okay, okay try, For example, try, okay, yeah, they'll be like, risk. "So, do you like Milo?" Yes. Yeah. Do you drink Milo <laughs> at night in the day? After in the swimming. morning. In the morning. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is it usually cold or hot? Wait, these are the actual questions. Yeah. No lah. Oh. But it's questions like this. Cold. Cold. Mm. So cold Milo's in the morning. You say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. Do you, you like child porn? <laughs> I'm looking at the report <laughs> and it's not yeah. looking good for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So they'll oh, ask oh, you like normal, normal things. I then. almost so, say yes. So eh. do you like child porn? <laughs> no. No, okay. I think. How about like, do you like seeing adults in child's clothes? <laughs> hmm. Are they hot? Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are the questions they ask a lot. Right. Wait, so it's hold very up. So they were like kind of try to throw you off then just th- pop one question. Yeah, at something it. like that. And also I would believe, I don't know how it works, but I believe that they're not looking at how you answer the questions. Uh, no, so they're not looking at what you say and, and yeah. the, your answers. They're looking at how you answer. Yeah. Like they're watching your mannerisms. It's like job and interviews. Like, yeah. Then not only that, do they talk to your parents as well? Right. So there's, I think there's a whole psychology thing behind it. Like. So you actually can say, yes, I enjoy child porn, but the way you say it, maybe. No, I feel like that one was one of the I don't know. La, <laughs> I, I feel like that question yeah. in particular is one of the ones. Yeah, I feel like if you say yes to that, they'll be like, oh, okay. We got him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. They cancel yes. all the subsequent appointments. <laughs> yeah. Out the door. <laughs> but yeah, so it was that. And then there was another one with IMH that was much shorter. Uh, It wasn't four weeks. And then, yeah. Um, and anybody can go and take this test? I don't think, I, I don't know. Oh. You got to pay, by the way. Know. He paid for it. Yeah, you have to How pay much for the it? test. The first one was $5,000. $5,000? Yeah, it's not cheap. Any, Maybe actually, it's not, this is not about a pedo test. This is about any test or psychological test you take for your case. The, right, the, right. the what do you call it? Psycho legal uh, te- analysis. analysis, whatever it is. Like, you know how, like, <laughs> When you when you see a case, then you see like, oh, this person is, you know, has psycho yeah, yeah, yeah. problems or whatever. Uh, I see, I see. So it's it's advice, it's for your lawyers told you to get Correct. it for your defense. Correct. Yeah. At that point. And then um, when I went to court, even the prosecution was like, also, we also won. Yeah. So I was like, okay, then I went to IMH and do it and did it also. Actually, I had, I had a thought on that. What if the test came out that you 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 do have pedophilic mm. tendencies, right? Mm. Do they be more lenient on you because it's now a no. psychological problem? No, no. Then or is it worse because they confirm your intent? It's worse because you are now, the risk of offending is now higher. The risk of re-offending. Re-offending, right. Yeah, oh. is now higher. So that's but, what they were testing on. La. But then the punishment will be different. Right? It won't be jail, right? It will be... No, I think it'll still be jail. It will hmm. be jail then probably after that. You Maybe you have jail. aftercare. Or like more. Or like counseling. Oh. Or right. Yeah. yeah. So, to kind of round this segment off, right, and also for the people who might not have watched your video, mm. if there's like maybe two or three main takeaways that you can summarize, what do you think you would want people to know? There's only one thing, and it's just that not a pedophile. 
So yeah. moving on, uh, like maybe the like one week lead up to jail, right? Did you mm. prepare for it? Like, is there a... Uh, it's very stressful. Because uh, you have like uh, your family to think about and then like your friends and then like your fish, your dog. Your fish. <laughs> yeah, my, my fish, fish all died by the way before no. I went in. My fish all like, oh, he's going to jail. Let's all f***ing die. And yeah, they all yeah, died. Yeah. Then you really? probably in some emotional mess. Yeah, I was, I was <laughs> crying. I was so broken. I mean, to my friends, I was very strong. La. You know, I was mm. like, nah, I'm, I'm waiting. I mean, there's a part of me that was like, oh, it's finally going to be over like, and yeah. relieved. But of course, there's that other side of me that's just so scared. Yeah, I, I remember when we recorded the first episode that was never released. It was about two weeks before you knew no, two, you knew already that you were going to accept the yes, charges. Yes, be guilty. It was correct. about a week or two before that. Correct. With, but you correct. already know that you were going to do it, right? Mm. And there was that feeling of of peace mm. that and, and you were sharing with us about how your very prized figurines oh. that used to be a very big part of your life were things that were the last things, you know? Yeah. Like, and and you started selling all of those and when those were gone, yeah. it was also like a That's there's, it. there's no more fight left. La. Yeah. Very yeah. that. Now I'm selling the that cupboards also, heart. by the way. The what? The cupboards are gone also, the cabinets. <laughs> the, oh, the, <laughs> the display. Yeah, the display. Yeah. Like, how I you never sell it. together? I would, <laughs> how do you sell together? Empty, dis- okay. Like no one will buy the statue and the display, but but yeah, it's I, it's, think. I think I think <laughs> you know what? I think when like coming out of jail, right? I don't know if you believe in a God or whatever, but- Amen. Amen. I do. Mm-hmm. God was like, you know what? You're going to go back out there and it's going to be a total restart. Yep. And then I was like, huh? Not restart enough, man. <laughs> like, you know, I already lost everything. He's like, nope, really, you're going to get a surprise and it's going to be a total restart. So when I came out, that's when I found out my YouTube channel was gone. My Instagram was gone. Like, it's a total like- Right. You know? And, and I was okay with it. Mm. And at that point, I was like, okay, if this is what the restart means, then okay lah. Mm. Mm. Like the decision was made for you. There's yeah. some consolation in that. You knew you were very much ready to go and serve time. You, in yeah. fact, you can't wait to start serving so that part you of can me. start ending, right? Yeah. I can't wait to go jail. Yeah, because yeah. I think part, of was, me la, part of me lah. That was, I think, something that he actually told me directly yeah. that yeah. Right. he can't wait for you to just, let's, let's go already. Like, yeah. Because there's another... Like waiting two months to go to jail is also mm. a very painful two months. Mm. Yeah. And so because you cannot do anything and it's just time is money or something. And yeah. you're waiting for inevitability. And then you want to serve your time so that you have the right to go out to civilization and say, guys, I've served my time. Mm. Let me restart. Right. right. And even then it's it's hard for you to restart. Because yeah. the 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 prejudice is still there. Mm-hmm. Um, which is what we're hoping to discuss also on, okay. on this show, right? But I'm wondering what was it like? And I've never actually been to like court. What was it like when you were standing there and then the the sentence was mm. given and then that was when you had to go? What was that feeling? Wow. Do you know that feeling? I don't know if you've been to a theme park. You know the, the long tower that you drop? Yeah. The Tower of Terror. Have you, have you tried that before? Yeah. It's like you can't breathe and then it just keeps going. Right. And then until you hit the, the, the stop at the bottom and you're like, oh. right. you know that feeling? When did the <gasps> come in? When the sentence was passed or when you're sitting your ass in prison? No, when you're in prison. Right. It's like this long drop and you're just like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. Like it's happening. And then things just happen in front of you. And it's not like they, okay, now you can say goodbye to your parents now. Right. Like, Do you need tissue for your tears? No, you know, it's like, sentence you. Thank you very much. The judge goes back and does whatever she right. or he does. And you were cuffed in when you were sentenced or? Uh, once you get sentenced, you get cuffed. Right. So when you're in there, you're still a. I mean, yeah, you, know, you could be innocent. Be yeah. ma, you know, mm. but once you're sentenced, you get cuffed. They bring you downstairs, put you in a cell, and that's when the reality just hits. You're like, oh, I'm going mm. to jail. The cell below the courts. Right below the courts. And you were there for you think how long? Uh, t- uh, for your moved. I was there. My it depends what time you go. So if your session is at eight a.m., like mine was eight a.m. I don't know why I was so early. Around six p.m., then they move everyone to Changi. Right. Yeah, so I was there for a whole day. But like, for example, if you come in at four, then you don't have to wait that long. Lah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, for tips for you. Oh, how to optimize your jail experience. Yes. If you're going to get sentenced, <laughs> make sure it's like not so early. So, uh. so you were the first customer. Lah, I was right? the, first, of, of the, I was yeah, the right? first. So you sat there and then you were just like- I slept. Like new friends come. So like- Yeah. You know, it's like um, Love Island. <laughs> I guess. Like but the was, first to arrive. They put me in a solo <laughs> cell though. I was alone. Oh, I see. Oh. I see, I see. Yeah. Is it because they scared their people? Yeah. I think so. I think they scared that. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to assume things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So up to that point where you you hear the sentencing, you have no idea what the sentence will be. So the prosecution was asking for five to eight months. Okay. My side was asking two to four months, and uh, my side was saying like, ah, don't worry, don't worry, three, three, four at most. Yeah, at most, right? Because whenever <laughs> whenever that happens, right, <clears throat> the judge usually goes for the middle. Yeah, yeah, either yeah. the middle or like the beginning of the prosecution. It's very rare that the judge goes like, no, I give you maximum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. Uh, the judge said, no, I give you <laughs> the next time. No, the judge really said, La, like, go, go to jail, bitch, for yeah. eight months. Then how? Um, so my, that's when my heart really dropped, law. <laughs> right. I was like, oh my God, not even three months, eh. Like, really dropped, like. <gasps> right. So there was a surprise, lah. There was a huge surprise. I think everyone was surprised. Then your legal team give you discount. Ah? <laughs> No, they actually. They're wrong. They, set yeah. your, they, they give you set your expectation. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should, I will feel so bad. I should get promise over the I'll be so ashamed. I'll be so ashamed. I should get my shop back cash back from yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, law. So I think that was an extra surprise. And then I was just crying. I was crying so bad. Like it was so bad that my mask was so wet. Because yeah. at that time, yeah, it was right. so wet. Then they brought me down to the 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 cells downstairs, right? And they were like, "Do you need a new mask?" Because you're yeah. just wet. Yeah, yeah. Because I was just they were crying so for bad. their own lives, lah. But yeah, why? In case you got COVID, ma. Oh, that's true. Does, <laughs> it, does it transmit through th- tears? No, as in <laughs> affect the integrity of your mask. Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, so okay. you, so you, when you are down there waiting for everybody else mm. to come before you can go off, right? Mm. Then you can see them, lah. Yeah, you can see them. Like, okay, I'm going with this person. Then do you know your what they are? Mate? Getting in for the, you won't know until you go to jail. Like, so you don't you, talk to them, also. You, you cannot. cannot I'm alone, ma. Yeah. I no, but you can see ma. them. Oh, you cannot. You cannot really talk. Right. You yeah, cannot, cannot like. Really oh, why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> cannot, 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 cannot really talk. But if you're in the same cell, like some of them are in a group, then they will talk, lah. Right. right, right. Yeah. So when you never f- ask why, can I join? I, I, you? I, I, I fell asleep. Right. I slept right, right. all the way. So when you reach the prison itself, it was actually nighttime already. Yeah. And then they put you in a cell with other people. No. Well, what's the process? What's the process? Yeah. So in you, detail, please. Okay. So when you reach, let me just tell you that if you're planning to go to prison and escape from Changi prison, you're not going to escape. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Because... Eh? <laughs> <laughs> there goes out, you see. <laughs> because because they, the moment you go into the Black Maria, that's what they call it. Yeah. The bus. The bus. Simon like the, Boy the educated black, us. Yeah. The black mm. bus, right? Um, you don't see anything. Yeah. Until you are in prison. So you don't right. know where the road is. You don't know where, how to come in, to go out, nothing. Oh. And then when you're in there, it's just like underground tunnels everywhere. Oh, is it? Yeah. You're just like, where is this? And they're all closed. Right. So all you see is a like little window on top with like a bit of sunshine. Right. So you're like, where? like, you don't know where you're going and then they just lead you, you know? And then you're just like, oh shit. You're like, how do I get here? How, how do, do we even there? know you're still in Singapore? Exactly. So I have this, Never mind. Interesting. <laughs> then you feel the floor. I have this like <laughs> weird cargo thing ship. that we are not in Singapore because it's it's just so away from anyway. Anyway, yeah. so you go in <laughs> and then uh, because of COVID, they put you in isolation for yeah. a week. Is that a good or bad thing? It's a horrible thing. It's a horrible thing. Well, it works both ways. Mm. It, the, like at the end of it, I saw why it was good, but it's quite bad. Okay. Oh um, no. <clears throat> the one week isolation was probably the worst time I had in prison. Right. Oh. Because the rooms are horrible. You don't go out. You don't get that one hour daily. Um, the rooms are like not very clean because it's just people come in and out. So there's no like ownership per se. Yeah. Uh, you're alone. You don't get to talk to anyone. So time passes much slower. Uh, somehow the, the room is like worse. the maximum security. That yes. That, that, that kind of small. Right. In fact, yeah, I would okay. say a bit smaller. smaller. Yeah, but around that. No lah. Actually, exactly like the maximum okay, security okay, okay. one. Yeah. So it's like solitary but for one week. Correct. Correct. Because of COVID lah. Yeah. Right? yeah. So you stay in there for one week. They give you the, what's that test again? What swap. Do you call it? Yeah. A swap test. Uh, if you're positive, hey, if you're positive, then you stay longer. Oh, if shit. you're negative, then you go out. But no, but apparently when I went in, uh, the seven week was very good already. Because apparently before that, it used to be 21 days. Right. Isolation. What do you mean? Oh, that's crazy. Eh? Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, all is good for you. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but 21 days, is <laughs> not, like, seven days, yeah, is, I, think so. it was, I was hearing voices. Like, right. Because you must imagine that you go in, you're, first of all, you're fucked press that you're in jail. Yeah. And it's like your day one. And your day f- one, yeah. right? And then the place is horrible. And mine didn't have cockroaches, but some of them had cockroaches. Okay. This, is the, this is the place that Titus also complained about. La. You know, and then and then you're alone. You don't know how to deal with things. You don't know how the system works. And it's just quiet. You don't have anyone to talk to. Mm. You're just left with your own do, thoughts. Like the people that give you your food or like cleaning equipment yeah. to clean your shit, do they, do you, is it 
You, you can build a rapport with them. them. It, you can build a rapport with them, but unless you're a gangster, you're not getting much than a hey morning, ah. Huh? Right. Yeah. 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 So the So you really treasure the cool. morning, eh? Yeah, dear. Yeah. Hey, morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, How so, was day? so when you are going in, right, then they are processing you, then they will give you like clothes and all that kind of thing. Clothes they give you in court. Oh. Do you okay. change in court already? Right, right. Out right. of your clothes. And then when you reach there, they give you extra stack. So yeah. then then when you enter, they got like do all the butt check or something, right? <laughs> Oh, like there for is drugs a, or like, why is your butt check like water. <laughs> <laughs> There is a strip test, la, a uh-huh. strip thing la, where you you strip and then you have to squat. Yeah. I think that's the butt test. Right, right, right. Thinking. There's no insertion of anything. Yeah, There's right. no water down holes, nothing, you know. Okay, right. okay. Yeah. So you just take out everything, then they'll ask you to turn around, squat. Alone or with everybody together? Uh everyone. Then like yeah. you're all like scared and all like shocked or, or like at that point just It was funny because I remember <laughs> Wait, you careful, huh? <laughs> 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 no, because like uh so after isolation, they do one more strip test. So uh-huh. any point at any point of time you move from one location to another, they will strip test you. Right. Oh. Right? So Strip check last strip test. So the, <laughs> we were in one line, one long line, right? And they're like, okay, everything off, right? So you take off all your clothes. And then usually they ask you to squat and then you fuck off, right? And then you wear your clothes and you fuck off. Then I was just waiting. We were all waiting. Like, hey, why are they not asking us to put on our clothes? Hey, we were just waiting. And it's so awkward because it's just a line yeah. of men. <laughs> they all don't know where to be. Yeah, if you don't want to be gay, don't want to be gay, don't, be gay, don't look at each other. Right? And then we had the officer, the warden go and fuck the guy like, hey, yeah. hurry up, take off your clothes. Uh. People right. waiting. Uh. Then he like, uh, no, I'm shy. Right. Like, Jesus Christ. So after he took off his clothes, then everyone could wear his clothes. Right. Yeah, then I was like, confirm Gen Z. Yeah, were, were you surprised at the way the prison officers spoke to you guys? Yeah. They're quite nice. Uh. Right. I yeah. would think so. They're like, quite nice. A bit more professional and yeah. compassionate. Then, I mean, my BMT sergeants were worse. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they are quite nice. So mm. what what was the first meal you were served? Bread. You got like excited and like, ooh, meal time. Ooh, yeah. let's see yeah. what. Prison yeah. <laughs> 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 for review. Ask me what you think. How many star? Um, the first <laughs> one was <laughs> <laughs> the first. <laughs> okay, so the first one was bread, and then after that, I cannot remember what the meals were. Like what? Like those sliced bread? Like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a plain bread. No lah. It's so it's bread. And then it it alternates. So there's a few flavors. I don't know whether it's the same now, but when I was inside, there's strawberry jam, oh, okay, chocolate, okay, okay. planta, the best. Oh my God. Planta, <laughs> nut, like fake okay. Nutella. Right, right, It's right. like Nutella, but fake. And that's about it. La. Right. So it's chocolate. sandwiches. La. Yeah. And then it just alternate. Right, 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 right. At least it changes. Right. At least it changes. But how many slices? <laughs> is it enough? Or is it like? Uh, they give you two slices, two two sandwiches, so four slices. It's enough. Oh, okay, the okay. food is enough. And that's breakfast, lunch, dinner, breakfast. No lunch. lah. Oh, what then? the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so that, what? No, then in lunch and dinner, then there's the different food. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And the foods, okay. And then got nice snacks though. Don't have nice snacks. Oh, no, no, if no, you want no, nice snacks, you keep, keep you keep the bread, oh? I see. But oh. are you allowed to? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're allowed to keep the bread, but the food in jail is not bad. It's really? The, it's the same as army, right? Very bold statement. And a lot of people are going to disagree with me. I will say yes. It should be because it's the same supplier. It's not the same supplier. Oh, la. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit fucked up, right? I thought it's the no, because they, they outsource to the ST thing, yes, right? Yes. Then they just do that, lah. It right, makes right, so much right, sense. Correct, correct. They but, purposely botch the chicken a bit just so. But the cooking is done by the prisoners, lah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so menu same, but the quality well, maybe. The, the quality control is same. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And and you must think about this, right? These these prisoners who work in the kitchen, they also do still have to go back to the cells yeah. the, at night, you know, and to sleep. Right. Yeah. So if imagine you are my cellmate, right, and, and then we you are some out. gang, mm. and I cook the chicken today, not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. they are sort of like help to like us, like you better cook. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. So the food is really not that bad. <laughs> 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 like, like if the balance, like proper, like got protein, got vegetables. Always like. will have protein, vegetable, rice. Always. Six, six, six. This yeah. is like, yeah. Sometimes I skip like, <laughs> yeah. No time to eat. Yeah, the food is not bad. <laughs> Uh, they also prison has their own like, um, in cell cooking culture, right? In a sense, not in like, cell, but inside the cell. Ah, uh, inside, yeah, inside yeah. the cell. Oh, they like, puns today, ah. <laughs> they like mix food together. I so saw, it I saw, I saw. Better. Does it mm. though? 
It does, it does. But actually, I don't think it tastes it's better. It's like 7-Eleven secret menu hack, but prison. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just <laughs> fresh. Like, ooh, apple yeah, crumble, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So your, your cellmates were like friendly, <laughs> la. you made friends. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, no. So what happened? You moved from the seven days, right? Yeah. From isolation. Then now you have to, you're moved to another cell Correct. with other people. Correct. They will move you to a, either a four-man cell or eight-man cell, depending on which cluster you are in. So what did you get? I got an eight-man cell for mm. the majority of my... Uh, stanz- sentence and then at the last part like the last four weeks they moved me to a four man cell okay. how big Not is the eight man cell is it like probably this? like this uh. oh. a, a, bit okay. bigger, a bit bigger a bit oh, bigger okay. but around this size right. yeah. so so now you are being brought to the cell mm. then you enter then there are already another seven guys in there no so lucky me uh, I got to start a new cell right oh. cell leader <laughs> you're always yeah, the cell I leader. am the cell leader <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am the cell leader. <laughs> um, yeah, so we, we started a new cell, which was a good thing and a bad thing. Because it's a good thing because you set your own rules, right. you know, in your own cell. But it's a bad thing because there's no one to teach you the rules. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. Because right. there's the rules that the wardens make and then there's the rules that the prisoners make. Right. And those are more adhered to than the ones that the wardens right. make. You know? What so, are some examples of like the rules? Like, don't shower in the middle of the night or don't flush the toilet in the middle of the night. Or, you wake wait, up but why if you sleep next to the toilet? Then you wouldn't want it to people to flush. <laughs> la. But then yeah. the smell is... Oh, the smell is fine. Oh, Don't okay. worry. The yeah. ventilation is damn good. Thank you, Shanmugam. But the <laughs> ventilation in jail is fantastic. Right. Like, right. no, like literally I'll be sleeping here because I sleep near the toilet. The sleep near the toilet is the best place. Okay. Right. Wait, I need a mic near you. Right? Yeah. And then there's the wall. Okay. okay. So the wall's like, I don't know, six inches. Around, okay. Okay, okay. Like that. You're literally taking a shit. I can literally hear the poop, poop, Right, poop, right, right. But I don't smell a thing. You mean when you when I take a shit at this distance, you won't walk away and sit there? Ah? The self- no. <laughs> what the hell? I will expect you to. I'm eh. reading my f-ing book. <laughs> I'm reading. Do, do, do I even hiss up you? Do I be like, bro, I'm gonna take a shit. You cool? No, you can just go take, I a, just shit. Go take a shit. Yeah, because no one's gonna disturb me. What? Just go. There's a wall. There's a wall. Oh, You're not oh, naked. Oh, oh, I, don't, oh, oh. I don't see you. But I don't even smell you. That's how good the ventilation oh. is. Right, 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 right. SPS. So um. Lucky Kun, Lucky Kun also has a toilet bowl that can also eliminate smell. $14,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Lucky Kun, a lot of variety. Yeah, sure, yes. and, and so the, the, the pooping area and the shower area is the same. Literally the same. So okay. it's literally like you stand up and the bottom is the squatting toilet. It's, it's metal and then the shower is right there. And then you do it anytime you want. Anytime. Shower or shit, everything. You happy, oh, can so if you would like to shower like five times a day. You do sure, it. you want to do 10 times also can. Right. Yeah. I oh. expected it's like, oh, shower time. Then everybody go. There's, and not, like, oh. there's not much regimentation. Right. As I thought. There was, there's more regimentation in BMT. Like 5 a.m., do this. Thank yeah. You. Mm. So in terms of the, the, the rules that the prison makes, there's not many rules in terms of incel things. Right, right, right. But the prisoners make a lot of rules. So like I said, don't... don't Shower in the yeah. middle of the night or don't use the flush or like don't eat a banana whole. What, what? is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I got eat it from the side. Uh. I happy, happy, right? <clears throat> no, you have to break it. <laughs> oh, I see, I see, I see. Because if you eat it whole, oh. it's gay. Right. So there was one time I opened, right? I opened. <laughs> so the, I ban- yeah, right? And then I ate the banana, right? And then the long time was like, it was f- <laughs> <laughs> Then I was like, what do you mean? I'm like, he's on prison, bro. You cannot eat banana. Like that. And I was like, huh? But I gay. <laughs> right, well, you, you no, gay. No, no, but still, yeah. then you're like, it's on prison, bro. What the fuck? Cannot, ah. Then they laugh. They're like, no, oh. la, that one before, la, now oh. can. Right, but right, apparently, right. there was a rule before, la. Right, right. Yeah. Also, they like, fuck around with you a bit. They, la, yeah, they fuck around with okay, you. Okay, okay. And stuff like, uh, stuff like, if your meal comes and there's like, if everyone gets two chickens and you get one, you shut the fuck up and eat the one chicken. Like, oh. don't complain about that. Oh, them. if not, they'll take away the two. No lah, they just, they'll mark you <laughs> ah. Right, you right. Know? And just, just be nice to the cookies, uh, the, the, the servers. Right. right. Yeah. And, if, and you eat all your meals in the cell. In the cell, yeah. So there's no like, can tea, can no, no, no. Tea area, area. Okay, Do okay, you no. talk during lunchtime? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, <laughs> we talk <laughs> most of the time. You oh. got people starstruck to be in the same cell as you. Like, oh my God, I lucked out. <laughs> yeah, some of them, I mean, some uh, of them did. I mean, some of a celebrity. <laughs> some of them did. It's like, they walk in, they're like, oh shit. Yeah, like, yeah sit down. <laughs> oh no, yeah. So what yeah, was yeah, that like? Right. Because if I was alone in a cell and then I know that people are gonna join me, right? Yeah. I would be like, oh shit, lah, I scared later I can have some gangster yeah. that I can have step. Oh gangsters are great. Ah. Gangsters are the best. <laughs> okay, please elaborate. Um, <laughs> because they probably have been in before, so they know the ins and the outs. Or or if your cell is like got gangster, ah, then the cookie who is probably a gangster will take care of you. Right. Mm. Uh, okay. If your cell got no gangster, the f they care for you about right, how right, do yeah. you get Low the priority. job? CCA, the cookie? Yeah. Mm. yeah, or any job or in 
Uh, you need to be a long timer, first of all. So oh. one year onwards. Then they have to see your performance, see what type of person you are. Good oh, so you had no CCA? I had you no CCA. What do you call it CCA? I don't know. I was just oh, it's just a low. Okay, like okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had no because short timers don't get to do that. Right. So it, and instead you get nothing. You yeah, just it's them boring. Right. Them insane. Like I'd rather, I mean, not rather be a long timer, but long timers at least like, every morning they go <laughs> yeah. out. You, you rather have the CCA. Something la. to do, la, yeah. you know? Uh, yeah, like make kicks. So, so what were the other right. characters in yourself? Oh, so well. many. This podcast is not enough. You're going to need to listen <laughs> oh, to my shit. podcast for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it's not enough. It's not enough. But so many characters. Right. Like, people who don't shower. Right. People who are scared of water. Scared of water? Yeah. It's, it's so interesting. interesting. Yeah. Wow. No, because you must remember I've like- I've seen the same movie about Helen Keller. Oh, wow. You think they put all the weirdos in your cell <laughs> and you are one of the weirdos? <laughs> Possible, right? No la, no la, no la. <laughs> so because because you must remember that short timers, right? I mean, I was considered a short timer, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not really short. It's it's five months, right? But there are people who go in for two weeks, eh? Right. Like Mr. Low. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So imagine two weeks, ah, uh, that means they come in one week isolation, means they sit inside one week, eh? Right, right. You know what I mean? So they come in and then they leave. And then so if if you're an eight man cell, if he comes in, he's the eighth, and then in one week he disappears again. Right. Then right. there's another person who drank drive who comes in for two weeks. Oh. So we like new people because they have new, new stories. stories. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. You know, and you get to new meet new people. But then sometimes again it's a gamble, lah. Because what if this person doesn't like the shower, or he right. doesn't adhere to the rules? Right. So when they walk in, it's usually my job to be like, okay, put your shit down, sit down. Oh, you really you can really the OG. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Like, like these are the rules. Okay, you don't do this. You don't do this. You don't do this. In this cell, this is what we do. Why yeah. you? Why not me? Why? Why I don't know. The war? No lah, like, just, just <laughs> memory. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Like, I was done. I'm like, cleanliness is next to godliness. You gonna make anybody your bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I almost became someone's bitch. Um, I cannot confirm and deny. Okay, oh, okay. Shit. But I can tell you that I was not anyone's bitch. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. No, then there was, okay, no, there, was this, there was this young guy. There was this young guy who came in, and then uh, uh, he was a bit messy in a sense. So he didn't really pull his weight when it came to cleaning. Right. Then I told him like, bro, cleanliness is next to godliness, but in jail there's no god. There's only me. So you clean your <laughs> shit. <God damn>. <laughs> 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 You rehearsed that shit. Confirm. Because you're so bored, right? You just think of new ways to like fuck people up. <laughs> so, yeah. okay. So it's, it's not like what we see on TV like, in a sense. Like, As in like- were, were you afraid for your life at any point of time? At first. Or bullied? At first, yeah. I was very scared. Of course, because you hear this, these stories like, oh, yeah. they're going to bully you and stuff like that. But then when you go in, you realize that it's just a bunch of guys trying to finish their sentence. Yeah. They all want to finish their sentence. They all know they up and they all just want to get back yeah. out there and none of them is trying to build a life in there yeah none right. of them but then again that's my because i'm a short timer yeah, so yeah, yeah. short timers stick with the short timers right the long timers are in different clusters and those guys are a bit more hardcore la. right and you, you are considered one of the longer short timers correct la. right yeah right, right. I'm considered one of the long So, so during your time, child. what do you do? Is it just free and easy? I sit there do? and recruit uh, from my gang. Uh. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. <laughs> who, who will believe that I join a gang? You crazy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that I know you're fucking hardcore. I'm not hardcore. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that was pretty hardcore. I don't think. What do you mean? What's hardcore? I think I would be cell leader all the way until the number two comes in there. I'm like, okay, you cell leader. <laughs> no, I think any of you would have been cell leaders because. In, in prison, right? No, 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 no joke, no joke. Because in prison, I, I realized that the most important thing to have is EQ. So if you have automatic EQ, right, you automatically lead. Right, 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 right. 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 Okay. So it's very simple. Just to make sure that everything's organized. Nobody is going to f*** up. And, Correct. And so that that everyone has worse. a nice sentence. Right, right, right. You right. know? So you're just automatically like, okay, guys, how about we do right. this instead? Then do you feel like you go out your way to make newcomers feel more welcome? Yeah. yeah I would think so. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do not let them feel the isolation and correct, that correct, you felt correct. Because we all we all understand that feeling, yeah, right. And then we're like, you come in, and th- unless unless you make it hard for us, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll be like, okay. See you, you when you keep saying us, that's your gang. No, it's <laughs> myself. Are you in touch? <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. Uh, the, the rule is like, you go in jail, you come out, you don't. Keep what happens in Vegas <gasps> stays really? in Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it also a rule that no, you all dude, don't wait, tell don't each other? That. 
Like what, what you are in for? No lah. That's always the first question. Right? You want case? <laughs> you want case? <laughs> <laughs> they always ask, what case are um, But a lot of people lie. Oh. Right. A lot of people Did you lie? lie? I, how to lie? You can't lie. You can't lie. Yeah, the second day I was, the second day in prison, right? The second day in prison, this mm. cookie came, ran to my cell, and then the cell has this like opening, right? Yeah. Cut out the picture. Because I went in August 5th, right? So I think the news came out August 6th. Right. Then they got the papers. Right. They cut out, and then they brought it to my cell, and they put it on the door like, BAM! They're like, this one you are! Right. <laughs> there goes my cover. But then when you scared lah, right? It's, scared! But we ended up becoming friends. Yeah. After like, uh, I talked to him and explained the whole situation, we all became friends. Right. Yeah. So at first, it was very scared. But then after a while, I realized that mm, as long as you EQ right, make the right friends, you'll be fine. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, back to Denise's question. So what do you actually do in yard time? Um, it's very yard time really like a yard, like a like a movie, like a yard. Uh, no, 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 no. It's oh. nothing like in the in the Singapore movies where uh, in the American movies where people are smoking and yeah. basketball and mm-hmm. uh, there's bas- It's either basketball or takraw. Oh, what? Takraw, sepak takraw. Oh. oh, yeah. Um, and then you get to sit down, you cut your nails, you talk to people from other cells. You get to have a nail cutter. Oh, it's chained to the table. Oh. So that's the oh. only time you can cut your, your nails. And then let's see how you talk, 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 talk. As in, is it really outdoor? Like you see the sun? No, it's not all. Right. It's like an MPH, right? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I've like my one, okay. My one in my first cluster was like an MPH. Right. So it was indoor. There was no sun. And then I moved to the other cluster and they had like what they call an open yard. Right. Where it's like no roof. Amenities like, and shit. Oh my god, sun! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I was damn fair inside. Oh. Like, I became like quite John. fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no lah. No la. okay. But quite fair. Like, I could see that I was getting fair. But then when I hit the sun, it just disappeared. Right. Yeah. So uh, you do you do whatever you want during that. Like during the, I heard lah, this one I cannot confirm, deny. But um, during the more intense yard times, like for where the more intense people are, uh, that's like the recruitment stage, apparently. So, so what is the intense yard time? Mm. Like with the intense people. Oh, when the Read in- between the goddamn lines. Uh, no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> then too bad. <laughs> yeah, the intense people. So right, then right, you right. could just be like sunbathing there, then yeah. they come over. They're like, hey, you got play shirt. Right, right, kind of right. thing. So yeah. you go gonna? No, no, but because I'm not with the intense people, we're all oh, short timers. Oh, oh. All of us are in there for stupid things. Also, oh, there's many, many yards for many, <laughs> many clusters, lah. Yeah, it's each... not like you get to meet the other neighborhood. No, 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 no. It's only that one cluster that you go. Right. right. So that every hour, you. I mean, every time you get that hour of the day, you meet the same hundred people. Same hundred people, people right, in right. your little holding unit. Okay. Right. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Do you feel like you are the same person you are over there and over here? You feel like no. He over there, he's so hard. Uh, he he yeah. over there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not lah. No. Like I had to adapt. Yeah. And and um, you became harder or softer over there? I would say harder. Right. Yeah. And so coming back is a is a journey of softening. It was a back, journey yeah. of softening back. Right. It was a journey of softening back. Like this all needs to stop. <laughs> you mean you were going in the <laughs> <laughs> Like you know, like it's all these like weird things, like like yeah. Like when you you, <laughs> <laughs> you better blur that out, editor. Please blur that out because you don't know what yeah know. that means in Singapore. Okay. Yeah. okay, so so when you met Titus, he he got the same cell as you. No, I don't know why he went to say that. He did right. He said that we were in the same I cell. No, 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 no. He said he met you, enjoyed you, gave him some tips, but yeah. he didn't. Oh, say right. Like, we went to, y'all went to say hi to each other. They kind of same right. cluster. Yeah. <clears throat> we were in the same holding unit day room. Yes. Okay. So okay. what happened was the cookie. oh, there's day room, then there's yard. So yeah, no, 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 oh, no, no, sorry. that's different. That's a, day room is like when you sit and watch TV. <laughs> yeah, so when do you get to go day room? Or day You're day in day? the day room. There's okay. a TV okay, in okay, the day okay, room. Okay, okay. okay, let me explain this, okay? So in prison, prison. there's different cluster. clusters. Got a, B, C. C. Okay, those are big buildings. Each cluster has Everybody holding stop. units. Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, each cluster <laughs> has holding units. Uh-huh. Holding unit got one, two, three, four, five, sometimes got six. Okay, okay. so HU, one, two, three. Uh-huh. Each HU has three day rooms. So it's like when you walk in, it's like one, two, three. Okay. Okay, then each day room has like 30, 40 cells. Whoa, so many. Oh, the day room is okay. the cell. Uh. The day room is the location of the cells. Right, right, right. Okay, so it's separated into three day rooms. So then every day you have yard, either yard or day room. So Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometimes depends on the Whether. issue you're in. Oh, okay. No whether he's in the MPH. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you get yard or day room. 
Okay, day room is just a name they put for TV time. So you come out of right. your cell, right at your cell, you sit on the floor and there's a TV there. Right. The t- mm. TV is Channel 5. Channel 5. What's it's more value? pre-recorded. What's more value? TV time or? I like Yard. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like Yard better. What do you mean? The TV is Channel 5. Of yeah, course, Yard more value. No lah, but sometimes, sometimes Batman Returns come. <laughs> yeah, that's no. Sometimes, sometimes they'll play like those movies like, you know, Underworld. Yeah. Like, uh, and then I'll see like Iman Fandi perform during NDP yeah. two you years act, You never act, but he, he's like, oh my God, guys, tonight is Underworld. <laughs> I yeah, actually excited. was excited for Underworld. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was very excited. You fucking act now, Underworld. Yeah. And then they, 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 they alternate um, languages or so <clears throat> per week. Right. So it's like, oh. today they room Chinese, the next day room Indian. It's quite racial harmony. So you're forced to watch Indian movies and Malay right. Chinese movies. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah. So now you get to go day room yeah. and then you see him. Oh no, so Titus. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, so what happened with Titus is, I was happy in my, in my cell. At that point, I just moved cell. Okay, so I was in cell A before, then I moved to cell B. Cell Sunshine. Sunshine was much better. Uh, yeah. yeah, Sunshine was great. A was eh, it was okay. okay. It, was just, yeah. it was really weird people. I didn't want part of that anymore. So the the cookie came to me and he was like, hey, your boy Titus, come, come here. You want me to put him in your cell? I said, no, no, no. <laughs> I What, they can decide one? Uh? I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> then, uh, they, then I told him to just put him in my OG cell. Which is at least I knew the people there and I knew that they wouldn't disturb him. Or yeah, anything, you, you know? just said he's the weird cell. <laughs> 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 no, they, they no, they no we we get out there was cell. one weird guy. <laughs> okay, there was okay, one okay. weird guy. That's all it takes. Yeah, so so Titus went to that cell and he was taken care of, like He was fine. He got his books whenever he needed and Apparently he reads a lot. What right? is this? Yeah, he's you're the big dog there. Right? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Do you ask you where you want him to be? No. No. Put him there. No. They'll take care of him. No. My people will take care of him. No, no, no. But I feel like because you do that for a friend, what? You right, know, right, like right. you just put him in a place where you know that he'll be fine, lah. Like, so if I ever go to prison and I say, guys, I'm friends with D, I'll be good, lah. Depends where you go. It depends. <laughs> no lah. <laughs> You'll not be good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no la, no la. It's not that, that. It's not like that. It's just, I just made friends. Yeah, yeah. That's all. You made a lot That's of friends. All. You were popular. Yeah. You were not gangster. I you think because popular. they knew who I was. Yeah. And because of my cheery and light personality. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very interesting. I mean, the stories they get from you would be much higher quality, la, for example. Uh, yeah, and I'm a good storyteller. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the main thing. Yeah. yeah. So you got organized yeah. any skits? <laughs> no. Uh, every now and then, we will, I will like. I'll like host game shows in the cell. Oh. Yeah. Okay, la, okay I don't want to be in the same cell as you. Yeah. Trying to find things yeah, yeah. to do, ma, so I'm just fucking bored. I'm like, all right, gentlemen. It's time to play Guess That Song. Ah! They'll be like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and then <laughs> I would like sing a part of the song and they have to yeah. guess it. And right. Then, what they win. Then the is... opposite cell, damn jealous. <laughs> yeah, no, that's also the opposite cell. No, they, the... they stand at the bottom. <laughs> they, will, they will ask the next day, they're like, hey, <laughs> your cell, them noisy. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you all so happy? Like, like not journey. <laughs> like, because we try to make, have a good time. We try. <laughs> Interesting. Were there any like violent incidents or anything that happened while you were there? Yeah, it happens weekly. Like what? Like what? This guy who was told to move a cell and he didn't want to move, so he started jumping like from the railings. <laughs> yeah, I you cannot not imagine. Not, yeah, okay. yeah, you won't imagine. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, lah. There was a guy who got beaten up because he took the other person's banana. Wait, is that exactly what you're saying? It means? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> not not a dick. No, like oh, okay. like the person had a banana for lunch and he wanted to keep it for dinner. The other guy thought he didn't want it and ate the banana and oh. he was like, why the f- you in my banana. Right, right. Wow. Yeah. So it's all these little things. In, but okay, no, I mean, to us people sitting on the outside, yeah. right? Uh, thinking like, ha, ah, you do that over a bloody banana. You try to go inside. Would you say that when you were <laughs> you in there, touch my f-ing banana, you, see you, what you know how it feels? Yeah. You know why that guy was pissed? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because like, banana is dessert. The, banana is dessert, number one. Yeah. <laughs> number two, banana doesn't come every day. <laughs> right. Okay. Are you having a <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Take this out of context all you want. You know? It doesn't come every day. Right. Okay? And banana can and be made banana into so many things. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like you can put it in the bread. You right. can put it in your rice. <laughs> put it in your biscuit. Right, the right, banana right. can go anywhere. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> In your mouth. <laughs> and the banana <laughs> helps you shit. <laughs> That's true. Okay? That's true. <laughs> helps you shit. So banana is great. Valuable. Yeah. So you mm. touch my banana, I'll 
you know, <laughs> I will somewhere punch you. Mm. Correct. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So in the lead up, like maybe like one week to your release, right? Do you start like counting down and then saying uh, your goodbyes? Yeah, do you have sense of days? Yeah. The rule is try to forget the sense of days. Okay. Like you try try to not count because that makes the days longer. Right. I think. So the rule That's I mean, an advice lah. Yeah. Like. So the advice that was given to me when I first came in, they were like, okay, very simple. Stop looking at time. Uh find a routine. Follow the routine. Right. Your days will go by very fast. And it's true. Eh? Right. So you just have a routine. The routine is very simple. You wake up, then what time you shower, what time you eat. Oh, what, there's what a clock you... in your room. No, 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 no. There's no clock. So you that's why they said don't follow the time, follow your routine. Oh, okay, okay. So you make your own routine or you make a routine for yourself and then you just continue. Like, okay, this time you exercise, this time you talk clock, this time you sing song, this time you shower, this time you clean cell, this time you and then the days just go by. Right. Yeah. So they get all that done productive, like bark eleven AM when you're like f Yeah. Yeah. But no lah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it, it Ooh, what's there. your favorite book you read in prison? Oh, what a great <laughs> question. Look <laughs> at uh, everyone's face like no one cares about the fucking books. Um, I read this book called The Whisper Man by Alex North. No, no idea. I was it's not, really I consider myself fictional, right, fictional, fictional Yeah, fiction books. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. How come so, how how you, you can books? get books? People send in books. Like oh. for example, my friends like, Siash, send me a lot of books. Right. Yeah. So every visit you get to, your family members get to bring three books. Right. And then they will screen the books and then if it's all okay, they will come in and do you lah. How right. frequently do you get visits? Two a month. Two a month. So it's either they come to Changi to meet you in real life or I mean like face to face, but it's like a there's Actually a glass, glass in the middle. Thing. Or they go through this really cool thing, which is like a video chat thing, like a Zoom call. Right. Which is right. better, la, honestly. Then they don't have to go to Changi. It's in their home, lah. No, no, no. They have to go to like some CC. Right. But yeah. basically don't need to travel so far. Yeah, they need okay, to go okay. to Changi. Changi. Right. Yeah. And how long is that session? <laughs> So for the face-to-face -face is 20, 20, 20 minutes. Uh -huh. For the video call one is 30 minutes. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. okay. It's not bad. La. And you get the whole hands? No. This no. Is a you can class. do this I if you want. The phone cool. thing. Uh, is the there are some classes that still have the phone thing. Right, right. But, I, but the the both classes I was in had you know, it's not a phone thing anymore. Just some gap. Oh, so and, and there's, there's, a, a speaker. there's a commissary, oh. right? No, yeah. that's only for long timers. I see. So short timers, if you think you're going in and you're going to get, oh, I'm going to have money to go to the commissary. No, you don't get that right, privilege. Right. right. Yeah. Oh. Then how you masturbate? Ah, why yeah. is this always the question? No, it's like, we, we because the everybody long. around, <laughs> ma, then got just the do it. Oh, go to the toilet. Ah. Then imagination. Up to you. Ah. Oh, you just look at your nuts, yeah. I don't know. Right. What else is there? Magazines. Mm. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you about the <laughs> porn out. They call it X hamster. What? Okay, uh, so uh, uh. they call it. I cannot confirm or deny that this happens <laughs> in jail. Yeah. If it, it could be a story. I'm. I might say that I've seen it, but I don't know. This okay. could be scripted. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or totally made up. Okay, so you know you get to send three books or three magazines. Magazines they're a bit more stricter. So if any naked picture, they'll cut out. Yeah. Okay. But sometimes, as in, they just tear that page out. And yeah. Then, they will oh. tear, and then they will. But where do these pages go? They will put a stamp. They'll say censored. Right. And then you will know that they tore something oh. here. Um. But there's sometimes some things slip through the crack. Yeah. Because yeah. some officers are just not as uh, are more lenient. So like, yeah. maybe Sonia Chu showing a bit of side boob is fine. Right. You know what I mean? Or like Jade Rasif. Right. Showing up. Cleavage is fine. Cleavage is fine. You know. Whereas to some officers, they will cut it out. <clears throat> so. Some of these things come in. And then the guy's like, oh my God, they never cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then what they do is, and this has happened for like years. Alleg uh, maybe. Allegedly. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. They cut out the picture and they compile it into a magazine. So like the top sexiest pictures, they compile it in a magazine. And then this magazine gets passed around so that the officer doesn't catch it. Okay. Allegedly. I don't know. I've never heard. I don't yeah, know. Maybe lah. I heard lah. Yeah. Heard yeah. La. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it gets passed around, passed around, passed around. So every now and then you'll get it. And when you get it, that's your time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. You know? According to the law. Right. According to what I heard. Imagine being the person, right? That you never hide it well enough and then you're gonna- Yeah. Oh, oh no. Uh, that person would un be a very unfortunate. <laughs> no, or imagine months, being the person of that snitches on this and then make it. You won't lie. Will you be what? safe or not? You snitch for what? No. Yeah. I don't know. It's fine. Okay. Because I don't know whether it's real or Oh, okay, okay. Mm. Mm. So when they they <laughs> cut it together, already, when you flip, then it's like a the, the moving image type of. No, <laughs> it's still a magazine. It's just very crispy and calmy. <laughs> yeah, is it? Is it? Does it stick together? It's not. It's, not, it's very well maintained. So they do tributes. No. <laughs> How do you know what a tribute is? 
Jade Wait, what? Me. what is it? Oh my god. <laughs> so so you, um, you you come onto a picture of the person you give a tribute to. Okay. Then you send it to them. I don't know. I mean uh, people send it to Jade. Oh, so just shape? coming onto the picture is a tribute. La. Yeah. It's out of respect. It's not, of, you know. I mean it's not oh. respect. I don't know. Is it respect? I don't, I don't think it's respectful at all. But <laughs> if they send to J. Rasif, then he should not even open it. No, no picture, it's usually picture. like a picture or like a video or like a picture on oh. the phone and they just do it on the phone. It's quite gross. Can you imagine how dirty the phone is? Talk to their mother with the yeah. same phone. So gross. <laughs> <laughs> you, talk with your, you talk to your mom with that phone? Then yeah. they lend their friend. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, people do it if they mm. want. Uh, but there are cameras <laughs> everywhere and it's not allowed. Right. How can yeah. you say it's not a lot? Huh? I'm sure they close one eye. La. Exactly. Yeah. La. So like as long as you're not like facing the camera, like <laughs> yeah. they they or will like not. facing each other. La. Yeah, they will not <laughs> right. they will not take action la, because they do see everything. Yeah. But everybody else is kind of like just we are cool with it. La. Because I mean, it's not like you go to some corner and need, do it on your own. If right? you need to go junk, just go to the toilet. Yeah. Just just make sure you clean up. Oh, okay, okay. No, okay. but the toilet is not very well blocked <laughs> one, right? It's blocked. I just said there's a wall. It's a full end to end wall, man. I see like I think I've, I've seen pictures of it. Isn't the wall just about like that? Oh, okay. For that one, right? Uh, there's ways to go around right, it. Like if you sit down. on the floor. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, so it's not like everybody lying around in a cell and then just <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. But as a as a person <laughs> who is attracted to men, right? I yeah. must say that <clears throat> easier for you. Like, no, 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 no. Like the sexual tension is like negative twenty. Yeah. Because <laughs> like, and every time you think like, oh, that guy's kind of cute, you remember you're in jail. And then it just washes everything away. Then was there like a like a lowest point for you? Like while, while you were in there? I mean, I must say <coughs> like, I, I know I painted in a very fun, like, oh, it's like summer camp, but it's... it's A lot of tears. It's a lot of tears. It's a lot of stress mm. and anxiety. But it's really how you roll with the punches. You know, you go in there. When I was in there the first week, I was like, okay, this is it. How do I find that silver lining? And I was able to find it lah. There were a lot of low points, which I will not disclose what happened, but like when you hear about things that happen outside and you can't do anything about it. Right. Right. <clears throat> One of the worst feelings in the world. Mm. There's nothing you can do about it. Mm. And it sucks like balls. By design. La. And every day you wake up and you pray like, please, I don't want, like every time a letter comes in and you read it, you're like, I just want good news. Mm. Like, I don't want to hear anything and you never know when it's going to happen. And How often you get letters? Uh, you get you get to reply four times a month. But right. your friends and family can send you letters as and when? As, every day once. Right. Oh. So it's quite consistent. La. Like uh, I have some friends who send every day. Like like a journal. Like, okay, this is what I did today. You know, oh. but the greatest fear is always la, like that. And, and because you're sequestered, you know, you're just like, the greatest fear is always like, Oh, D, something happened to your mom today. You know, yeah. then what are you going to do? What are you going to do? There's yeah. nothing you can do. Yeah. You know, um, but thank God nothing like that happened to me. La. But I've heard of things that happened to other people and it's the suckiest feeling ever. Right. Yeah. Then let's move to when when you realize it's like T minus three days to freedom. Mm. When does the countdown begin? Yeah, but by then you lost count already. Bro, you, don't you know count down like a month before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one month, you're like, oh my God, next month, yeah, next month, yeah. Um, so you are acutely aware of the data. Uh, you the are, day. you are, you are. As in because someone tells you or you no, really just you remember? you just count or like you see when you go out and then you see the TV got like, you know, the yeah, time yeah, on the yeah. TV or like the aircon remote got the time. Right, and you're right, like, right, right. Oh, you got aircon? I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> like some places got aircon, like oh. the offices or right, whatnot that yeah. you see. Or sometimes you ask the officers, so what time now? Nah? Then they tell mm. you or what day it is. Yeah, so the countdown, I was a bit afraid um, to come out. and I would think so. Um, this is an analogy that is kind of deep. Ready? Ready? Okay. So when I was in jail, um, when I lied down, and there was this... So imagine a corner like that, that roof. Like it's the ceiling and then the wall. Mm -hmm. And then there's the bars. Mm -hmm. There's a light outside the bars that shines in at night. So it's like a night light. And on top of the ceiling, right, there hung an origami bird crane. Right. You know how it looks, right? So at night, when the light hits the bars and then those bars, that, that shadow hits the crane, right? The crane looks like it's in jail. Right. Okay. But there technically is no bars around him. 
Mm. It's just a shadow that's mm. cast around that bird. Correct? Mm. But it feels like it's in a cage because of the shadows. But in the day, when it's bright and there's the lights that are on, the ceiling is blue and the bird looks free. Mm. But he's in jail. Mm. That's how I felt right. in jail. I was in jail, but I felt the freest I could have ever been. Mm. And the most human I could have ever been. But outside, there was this cage that was always going to be there. Lah. And, and it's that shadow that always follows me everywhere I go. Yeah. So was I ready to go back into that cage? The answer is no. Mm. I was scared to come out. I, I was like, uh, how do I deal with this? How do I make money? How do I face my family again? How do I face the public? Do I still go out? Mm. Like I'm considered an ex-con now. You know, what are the things I can do? What are the things I cannot do? Do I still want to be an influencer? Do I still want to make content? You mm. know, how am I going to make money? Do I do Grab? Do I do McDonald's? Mm. If McDonald's people recognize me. If Grab, how? They harass me while I'm driving, how? Mm. A lot of thoughts. But the first step had to be get out. Yeah. So. And so what happened? What happened on day of release? They release you, ah. <laughs> today, like, good morning, Dikosh. Today is your day. Uh, no, you know your own day. The right. doors will open and you get out. Right. Do you and stand at the door already? Uh, no, <laughs> la, not so kanchong, la. Like you say your farewell to everybody. Yeah, you do. Here's you shake everyone's hands. Must, yeah, be, a bit, yeah, must like, be a bit cool. La. Must like, hey, oh, today. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, la. Me? no la. Some people, some people count down for you. Right. Like, hey, today, your release day, right? Then you donate your books. Like, okay, this book I give you. This book I give you. And stuff like that. And then you leave. And then you go out. Um, they release you in the morning, like early in the morning, 8 a.m. And you get out of prison before 12. So right. Before the next head count. Then... Uh, when I got out, everything was, it was a sensory overload. There was so much going on, so much colors, so much lights, so much smells, so much mm. sounds. And who was there? My mom, my dad, my whole family actually. Mm. And um, my I had two friends there and it was a bit much. Mm. I'm not going to lie. And you know, the beautiful thing is I came out on the 31st of December. Mm. Literally on the, the new year. So it was literally when God said, I'm sorry, I keep going back to that thing, but when God said like, I'm going to give you a new start, it was like, okay, yeah. I'm going to give it to you at the year beginning. Uh, so, um, yeah, it was so weird, like feeling aircon and then going to the car and then, oh, your your sense of smell becomes like supernatural. Right. No, I'm not, I'm not f***ing kidding. Dude. Right. Like, this is my cell. The elevator there is where the <laughs> officer is. Mm. I can smell and tell you which officer is coming at. Dang. Okay, okay. And it's not just a me thing, it's everyone in the cell. Right, right, right. Like if the officer's name is Jonathan, right, he'll be like, mm, Jonathan, come here. Like Daredevil. And we know that, <laughs> and then he will come and they're like, hey, y'all okay or not? Mm. Like, this, so when I came out, I smelled everything, like my brother's armpit to my friend's <laughs> perfume to the, the, the smell of the car. It was like a sensory overload. Eh? Right. And then the, the colors of everything, then the sound. Of, dah, dah. Like it was just too much. Oh, that, that was, was really well done. That was really well done. So I wanted to hear it through I the mic. Turn, yeah. I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, then when I went home, you know, I understood that everyone was, was celebrating not just my release, but New Year's Eve. Mm. Yeah. So they on music and I was like, guys, I'm so sorry. This is a bit too loud for me. Yeah. You know, at that point, lah, too loud. I'm so sorry. And then they were like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. No, the food. Like, ah, the fuck. food. Then, like, they called the prison. Yeah, can like, you just, just lay him out tomorrow? Back, <laughs> no, can we take him back? <laughs> 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 Let's celebrate this yeah, first. Like, the food tastes different. And it's just everything. Was... Do you feel like when you sit in a car with aircon or when you sit at a dining table and people bring food to you, do you feel like you almost don't deserve being treated like human? Yeah. Was it like that? Yeah, because I adjusted so well inside. Now adjusting <laughs> back is a bit hard. Yeah. Like when I went home, the first thing I did was sit on the floor. Eh? Right. Because the sofa was a bit soft. <laughs> right. It feels so weird, you right. know? So you sit on the floor. Right. You know? And then I almost was like expecting myself to sleep on the floor also, but I didn't. Right. Yeah, I yeah. was like, bad, yes. Um, but you know, <laughs> then your friends from jail are like, yeah, just like, guys, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Bit sleep on the floor, f you. <laughs> but yeah, so it was a bit of an adjustment, lah. So I can, but that was me only for five months. So I can only imagine what it is for people who go in yeah, for long. Uh. Yeah. What What was I mean besides like family and people, right? What was one thing that like you miss or crave the most? Music. I mean, I, don't, I know, know some people don't really care for music, but mm. it's always been a part. Like when I wake up, it's music. When I go to sleep, it's music. Right. Uh, not having access to that is 
Oof. Right. Hard. So you sing a lot in prison? I sing a lot. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I sing a lot. Somewhere out there in Changi prison, right? Your friend's like, what do you miss most about Dikosh? The music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then every, every now and then, like when they let us watch TV, right? So usually it's one hour, ma. So you know, most shows on Channel 5 is 45 minutes. Yeah. So 45 minutes finish already, ma. Uh-huh. Then they'll just play music videos. Wow, loud. The best thing ever. <laughs> best thing ever. I'll take it over underwater oh, anytime. I feel upset at this conversation. Really, really, really. Then they played, there was one time, uh, so there was, uh, in my uh, HU, there was a, a, a more Malays la, at yeah. that time. And then they played Con Calma. You know the song? Con Calma. Nope. Oh. Chinese people. That. Don't give up. City, don't give up. <laughs> 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 I fucking love that song. <laughs> anyway, so it's a reggaeton song. La. Then we really uh, love it. I was like, oh my God, this is such a vibe. Oh. Right. So good. Yeah, so we love music videos. Having served your time and being like judged by country and the public, right? Mm. Do you look back on the character that you have been on the internet pre-trial mm. and regret? I don't think I, reg- were. I I can't say I regret it, but I can say that I didn't really like him anymore. You know, I think um, what, okay, look, what happened in jail was, I really hate that I'm putting jail on such a pedestal, <laughs> but you know, what happened in jail was very awakening in a sense. Yeah. I've always lived in this weird echelon in Singapore, mm. right? So I came to Singapore, went to army, started YouTube with army, spotlight straight. So I've always been in the echelon that I believe that I forgot how to be human. Mm. And it took me going to jail to remember what that felt like. And because in jail, everyone's a criminal. You're stripped away from any title you have. You're all eating the same food. You're all eating the same, uh, wearing the same clothes. And you're just human law. You know, mm. and there's no air, there's no, oh, I have how many followers, you have how many followers, you know, and mm. it was so refreshing. Mm. Almost going back to uh, the carnal nature of yeah. being men. And it was so refreshing because like in this industry, uh, it's all like, oh, how many followers do you have? I'm cooler than you. Or, uh, I go to this event and you're not. Uh. And I was so caught up in that and I realized that oh, that f***ing doesn't matter. Yeah. Like people brought up like when you condemned Eden. Oh yeah, that's a big contention, right? Yeah. And to respond to that, um, I would say, number one, I think the cases are very different in a sense where um, consent was a big issue with Eden's thing because mm. the girl said no, you know, uh, and yet he went to go and allegedly mm. to touch the girl, allegedly. Um, mine, there was no touching. They were texts. Mm. They were wrong. I'm not saying they were right, but I think the it's very different. But a lot of people are saying that that it's hypocrisy. Yeah. That I called him out when I was doing all these things in the back of the of of my mind. Um, to be a hypocrite, you would need to know that you're doing wrong, and then call someone out. Mm. Am I wrong? I guess yeah. Right. I mean, like I would have had to know that I was doing something wrong lah. But at that time, when I was sugar babying. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Uh. Mm. You know, I didn't see anything wrong about that adult transaction between two adults. And at that time also, I didn't know that propositioning alone was a crime. Right. Much less that, the you act. know, the, 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 the age of commercial sex is actually 18 mm. and not, not 16. Mm. So, yeah. So I think, I mean, call me what you want, but I don't think, it, like I didn't call him out knowing that oh I'm doing all these shady wrong things right and then I call him up you know so yeah but then again the question comes to do I regret calling him out mm. you know I think what has changed in me now is if I were to do it all over again I would have called him first yeah and asked him and and figured out what the, the both sides of the story were first mm. um, before jumping to any conclusions la. Mm. and be more gracious about it, I guess. Would I still have made fun of him for the rest of my life? Yeah. <laughs> because mm. um, I think joking about, I mean, people joke about me all the time, mm. you know, and I think that's just fair. It's, it's, it's just the way it works. But 
I would have given him a benefit of a doubt and I would have given him a call. So at what point after your release did you decide that, okay, you're going to come back to social media, like recreate the Instagram and then start mm. sharing your story? It was something I wanted to do before I died. I decided in prison that I will not die a pedophile. Me coming back to Instagram, me coming back on doing podcasts, it doesn't mean I'm coming back to the scene. It doesn't mean I'm going to do it consistently. If I do it, I want to do it because I want to. And at this point, I don't feel like I want to yet. I did it only for that one Rumble video. Admit to what I did wrong, make clear what I did wrong, and make sure that everyone understands it. I'm not like, I didn't come back to, okay, time to make money. And now that that video is out, right? Like mm. what are some of your plans moving forward? Maybe in like the next one or two months? Um, I do enjoy podcasting. You know, maybe I might want to get back into that. I don't know whether I'll do video. I'm shocked, you see all this. Mm. You know, now I just feel like I don't need to anymore. And it feels great. Mm. You know, I don't need to be funny anymore. I don't need to be like, hey guys, what's up? Because mm -mm, I don't need to be that person anymore. Mm. So what are you doing for money now? What's Nothing. Next for you? <laughs> no, you were saying you were you doing a, um, a startup or something. So um, I have this like little, not mine, but I'm helping my friend um do this little production house kind of thing. Right. Um, the money is not great. You know, mm. we're still starting up, but it's something. As with every startup, lah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, it, It's something. You know, at least I can buy McDonald's. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. And it's uh, quite important. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to say the company or? No, no, not at this point because that's the thing, right? Like I'm still tainted in a way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, when I wanted to open a bank account for the company, like when my friend and we put my name in the, mm. in the company, right? We weren't allowed a bank account. Right. You know, oh. the, the banks rejected. But you, you served your sentence really. Doesn't I don't done. I don't care. Uh, they don't care. They don't right. have to give you a reason. They said right. no, we reject and all the banks rejected. And then I told my friend, I was like, look, what if you just take my name off the Accra thing? Yeah. You know? And 24 hours we got approved. As much as we want to live in a world that there's no stigma, there's always gonna be that stigma. And mm. and to me, I will forever have that stigma. And, you know, you Google my name and it's it's always gonna be there. You, you, you I can't run away from it. But at least now I can say the rumble video's out. And mm. it's up to you to watch it and it's up to you whether you want to believe it or not. Okay, so thank yeah. you very much for watching today's episode. If it's two hours long, thank you very much. If you stayed till the end, comment down below. I stayed till the end and I like the back part. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about just I like bananas? <laughs> <laughs> that also can. Yeah, you can say I like bananas. And, and thank you very much for joining us. And, thank you um, for having me. I mean, I know while people see this as an opportunity for him to oh, go out there and even clear up the misconceptions people might have about him. Um, I think it's also brave of you to sit here and then let us just like grill. Right. You know? Then I respect that. Well, like I said, no one wants to die a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you really are one. The you motivation no is damn strong. Yeah. It's damn strong. <laughs> Okay, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you okay, in the oh next God, episode. I'm, I'm gonna make, can I do that? Okay. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> bye bye. Hit the bell button or so. Yeah, yeah. Nice. That one. Important. I usually forget to say that. <laughs> <laughs> at, least I, at least you can. <laughs> My guy, are you, you have makeup on. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know what she get ready oh, with it? me, is it? Because if not, I look so dead. <laughs> I look like I'm in jail or something. Nah, <laughs>